Dave, thanks. Now to the pandemic. Florida adding nearly 60,000 new COVID-19 infections in the past 24 hours. The Omicron surge keeping our testing sites busy all day long. It's one of the more effective and popular tools to keep the virus from spreading and more testing sites are opening up across South Florida. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn is live at CB Smith Park in Pembroke Pines with more tonight. Jacqueline. And Laura, we keep on seeing these sites open up. We know in Miami Day they're up to 35, but they plan to have another one in Miami Gardens this week. They also have at home testing for the homebound Broward County doing the same thing, stepping up their efforts. So we're starting to see some of these lines get shorter. We know here at CB Smith Park, instead of the hours, it may have taken some people about half an hour. We shouldn't be hysterical, but if we've been exposed or if we have symptoms, we should be tested. Now that the holidays are over, Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava says more employers want to make sure their employees are safe to go back to work. We've added three new laboratories to so test results, come back quicker, uh, and we are working on a system that will be able to tell us where the lines are. Miami-Dade County now has 35 testing sites with more being planned. New case positivity there is over 27%. So we know more people are getting COVID and there is a shortage of the more effective monoclonal antibody. Really the important thing is to get the kind that is going to work. And my understanding is nationally that's in relatively shorter supply. Um, so um, it isn't available yet. You know, we've been in touch with the hospitals. Jackson doesn't have it. Baptist doesn't have it. And Mayor Levine Cava says they're all waiting. And fortunately, this Omicron variant has not been as deadly as others. In Broward County, the Fort Lauderdale mayor announced the opening of a new testing facility at Snyder Park to relieve wait times. It'll probably last through the summer. Um, but hey, God help us. We want to get rid of this disease. And, uh, uh, and the only way we can do it is to ensure that we know who has COVID. The latest report in Broward from December 24th to 30th showed new case positive rates at 31%. While lines may be getting shorter, the work to fight COVID continues. Now for one of those kits for the homebound, the number to call is 305-614-1716. We also have that on our homepage, cbsmiami.com, and I tweeted it out. In Pembroke Pines, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS4 News.